guys, it's your boy Nomly from Sweden And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Steam Wallet Balance And the best way to convert that into money Because it's not as easy as some might think But before the video starts, I wanted to thank today's sponsor Which is D-Market Now, if you don't know what D-Market is It's a CSGO trading and marketplace website Meaning that you can buy and sell your skins for real money Money or just trade them. If you're selling skins, you can price them the way you want to, or you can insta sell them. Of course, that's going to be a bit lower because you're getting money instantly. And if you want to buy skins, they have many different deposit methods like crypto, credit card, Skrill, PayPal, Netteller, or G2A gift cards. But if you just want to change your skins instead of selling them and then buying new ones, it's actually cheaper just to trade for them. And if you're not sure what item you want to change to, you can auto-select, and as you can see, D Market will choose random skins within your budget, and then maybe you like one of them, and then you trade for it. So, thank you, D Market, very much for being one of the sponsors of this channel, to help it running, even though YouTube thinks that I'm making fake passports. If you want to try them out, then please use the link in the description, and now, let's get on with the video. Now, no matter how you get the balance, whether it be from selling an item on the Steam Market, refunding games that you've bought or literally just depositing it from your card, you can't just withdraw money from the Steam wallet. It's not real money as Steam says and it's basically meant to be forever locked in Steam. Now one thing many people do when they have Steam balance is literally just go and open a bunch of cases and now that's not the smart thing to do because then you just end up losing your money back to Steam and having nothing in your Steam wallet, it's basically like a casino where you can't withdraw from. Another thing many people do with their Steam balance is simply buying a bunch of games and then ending up never playing them, and then GG, you end up with no money again. So what I've done for this video is I've myself thought of ways I've used in the past to cash out Steam wallet balance, and I've also asked a ton of different CSGO traders how they do and if they have any ideas ideas or uh, strategies on how to cash out their balance. Now the first tip comes from Desolate Says Go on Twitter and Edgy Machine on YouTube. And I had heard about this before, but I had never spoke to someone who had actually done it. What they suggested is using your Steam wallet balance to buy real life items like Steam hardware. The only downside with this is as you can see, you need quite a lot of Steam balance to do it. Now I've actually actually done this, although it's not really possible to do anymore. Another downside is I'm not sure if it's allowed by the Steam TOS, buying these items and then reselling them, but both Desolate and Edgy said that if you do this and you wait a while, because it can take quite a while to sell these items in real life, then you might actually end up with more money than you started with. One of these examples, which I actually did, is with the Steam Deck. Now, I actually had a nice on Steam, I sold it on the Steam community market, and I actually did it pretty stupidly, I'm not sure if it was a buying a tiger tooth, but I didn't actually list it and wait for it to sell, I sold it for the insta buy price, and as you can see on this example item, the difference is 50 euro and even though I sold it for insta sell price, I ended up reserving a Steam deck in the first release batch and I ended up getting the most expensive version. And of course, it took me quite a while until I actually got the Steam Deck in real life, and I would never actually sell it, because I like it, but if your intention was to sell it, they're listed anywhere from 720 euro, 64 gigabyte version, up to 1270 euro for the version that I have. The last sale was 1166 euro, and here you can see the most recent sales, there's quite a lot, but we can can see all of them are over a thousand euro basically and the most recent ones are all the way up to 1300 euro and since the version I bought was 680 euro you would have effectively doubled your money by doing this but as I said I'm not sure if this is allowed by the Steam TOS it's very slow and even if you order it now the price of them are definitely gonna go down until when you get it but buying things like the Steam Deck and the Valve Index could be optional 
to cash out your Steam wallet balance. Now, my friend Sync suggested that buying and selling games, Steam gems, and trading cards would probably be very good options to cash out your wallet balance, but, and I quote him, it's time consuming as fuck. Now, I'm not really sure how you go about selling Steam gems, but trading cards, it's pretty easy to do. But as he said, uh, you can see, for example, the CSGO trading cards, they're listed for 0.04 euro. And then to convert that to real money, start selling them for real money, it's just probably too time consuming instead of just losing the money you would buying or selling some other items. Another thing suggested to me by Edgy is pretty obvious, but not many people seem to do it. No matter what marketplace you're using, you can always just compare the price of the items listed on the Steam market versus the items listed on that site. For example, on the D market, thank you once again for sponsoring the video, you can see that a Bayonet Scorched is listed for $124. Of course, you'd have to make your research to see if this actually sells for it, but then we can see on Steam market, it's listed for $160. 70 euro, so maybe that wouldn't be the best option for you because you'd be losing quite a bit, converting that bayonet to real money. But depending on how much wallet balance you have and how much you're willing to lose, it would be viable to just sit down for an hour or so and just scout a bunch of items and see which ones have the best percentage and the least money loss. Then all you do is you buy the knife or the skin, the gun, the sticker, whatever, then waiting seven days for the trade hole to go out and then selling it for real money on a marketplace. My friend Edgy also suggested buying skins, like he says, that he knows will go up in price and keeping them for a few weeks or a few months until they're worth the same as the amount you put in or more. But that's a bit vague because any items can go up and any items can go down. So using this strategy, if you don't do your research correctly, you could actually end up losing more money than if you would have just bought and sold, for example, a knife. One weird thing I noticed, and my friend T-Pad also noticed, is name tags. Now, with name tags, as you can see, you buy them from the just in-game store for 1.89 euro. Now, this is great because this is a low amount, so no matter if you have 50 euro, 20 euro, or 600 euro that you want to cash out, this is still viable. Now, depending on the marketplace you look, I've actually found a few where these consumers consistently sell in very large numbers for up to 1.82 euro. Now, of course, those sites have fees, but the best I've found so far is 1.7745 euro after the fee. Now, that's quite insane. I made a little list here. Sure, this is now a few days old, but it should still be relevant. These are all the items that I checked, all the Steam community market prices, their real cash value, you on marketplaces and what percent of the Steam wallet balance that you would end up getting in real money. And this is the value lost for each individual item. So as you can see, if you sort from lowest to highest on a Karambit Doppler, you'd be losing around 34% of the value or 290 euro. On something like a Navaha, you might end up with a 2% better, but you're still losing 20 euro on 65 euro wallet balance. But you'll see one thing that's very interesting. The name tag, which you buy for 1.89 euro, you end up getting 1.84 approximately euro for. That is 97% of the Steam wallet balance that you're getting out in real money. Now, even if we change this to what you'd get probably after fees on sites, this is still miles better than all of the other ones. For example, the glove case, yeah, it's the best one out of these items, you're still losing almost 30%, which is way worse than the name tag where you're losing around 6%. So, I hope this helped to some extent to uh, help you guys cash out or at least get a uh, an understanding of how you cash out your wallet balance. But the thing with cashing out wallet balance is you just have to be smart about it. Compare items, compare prices, think of ways that people haven't done it already. Like, for example, maybe buying these Antwerp stickers while they're still on sale and then selling them 
them in a few months if you don't need the money now, hopefully they would have gone up a bit and then you might actually get the same amount as you have in your wallet balance. So thank you guys for watching this, I hope this helped a little bit, if it didn't, well, then you just wasted a lot of time for no reason. <laughs> <laughs>